All right, let's talk a little bit about a very common is issue happening on the Wix platform. So you may have noticed that when you try to add custom code into Wix, you try to add a widget, usually an iframe widget such as Acuity, Scheduling, Calendly, Typeform, any kind of iframe widget or sometimes other code and you use this custom HTML embedding thing, you run into a lot of trouble and nothing basically works. So here in this demo, I have this bad version I'm going to demonstrate first. I'm adding the Acuity scheduling widget. And here when we take a look at the page where we have the booking widget, Acuity widget, the iframe, there is a bunch of weirdness going on here. So if we take a look at the uh, iframe here, this is the Acuity scheduling iframe. You can see it uh, being selected. This actually has a second iframe wrapper, a parent iframe, kind of a sandbox, making this iframe not be in our page directly, but within this second set of iframes. All right, so what what is the issue here? So the common thing or one of the common issues is that any code that we add, it will not affect the page. So perhaps Wix is trying to save up money on support requests if people add broken code. But the big problem here is that we cannot, for example, resize or scroll automatically. And all modern iframe widgets have scrolling and resizing height adjusting scripts. So here we can see we have a set of scroll bars here for the actual page. And then we have a second set of scroll bars for the Acuity widget. So this is, this is pretty terrible, especially on mobile devices. So depending on where our thumb is, we will either scroll the page or we will scroll the internal widget and you know we get we get kind of stuck here and then it'll scroll the other one it's it's just a terrible user experience and my clients have seen that the conversion rates drop significantly if this issue appears and the conversion rate can immediately go up 300% get 300% more conversions or bookings or form submit, uh, submits if this is fixed all right, so how can we fix this issue? This has been something I've been working on a lot of my client projects uh, within the years, uh, throughout the years, and I have done different fixes for this issue, but now I have something that I really like, and I'm probably gonna turn it into a product, a product you can purchase to fix this issue. So I'm kind of gonna I'm not going to share my code because then I will not have nothing to sell and I can't pay my bills, but I will show you how it works, show you the script, and you can use this information to create your own version if you can code, if you can use chat GPT or something, or if you're lazy, you can get in touch with me. All right, so the way to fix this is that instead of this code, custom code block, we will just add a button. So here I have just added a button. You can see this button if you look close enough. And when I click and I go to the link, I will add my destination here as this uh, URL for this button. Cool. So now instead of having this crappy iframe Wix widget that doesn't work or resize, we have this huge button here. Then we need a custom JavaScript that we will add to the page. For example, here, I'm adding it to the end of the body. So here, you can just add the script in. And for demonstration, I'm going to copy paste my script into my console. So what it's going to do, it's going to try to find this Acuity scheduling link and the nearest parent, which is this kind of section here, we also need to resize. And then it's gonna 
create this iframe dynamically. So we're essentially just, you know, uh, creating the iframe. So we're kind of doing this by ourselves. We're turning the button into this. So from uh, this button, our JavaScript turns it into this iframe and then loads any embedding scripts after it. Let's take a look. So I'm going to fire my script, get rid of the developer tools. And now let's compare. Anywhere our mouse is, it's going to scroll the entire page. You know, if it's inside the widget or outside the widget. Compare here, it, we can scroll this or we can scroll this. And it's just, it, it's just a mess. Now, let's say we click continue. And now we got a lot of these extra fields. So suddenly our iframe widget is much, it takes more vertical space. And now we've got to scroll more. But here, what happens when we go to the second page, the height of this iframe widget, the custom HTML, as well as this section, this kind of gray area here is adjusted automatically. And now we have kind of fixed the Wix iframe custom HTML embed issue. And we have the widget directly on the page. So what I mean by this is that we have an iframe, it's inside the Wix. Unlike here, where we had our iframe, and then we have the second iframe, which is just a pain in the ass. And then we have our page. All right, hope this was useful uh, for anyone who was hoping for a free code. I apologize. I need to keep the lights on and I do this as a business. Hopefully this still give you some insights. And if you would like a done for you solution, you can get in touch with me at conversiontracking.io. And yeah, hopefully uh, this was beneficial and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And together we can kind of share the frustration of this Wix embedding thing and hopefully get it fixed. Thanks for watching.